there's not many places you can live on the planet where you can go for a surf in the morning, you can hop on your horse 10 minutes later, you can brew a beer, you can check the surf again, go for a stand up, hop on your motorbike and cruising along the Great Ocean Road, which is one of the greatest roads on the planet to ride your motorbike, nothing like it. We started Salt Brewing Co initially because we wanted low beer miles. We didn't want to be carting beer here, we want to make it here. And it's supporting local industry and local people and, and uh, I love that. I think what defines to me the difference between a craft brewery and a big brewery is the fact that it's all still very hands-on. It's not pushing a button to brew a beer. You're literally mixing it by hand. It's really fun. Uh, so when I was a kid, we were allowed to ride horses to the beach and skateboard the whole town with no one in it. In fact, we even drove our parents' cars because there was just nothing there. So now that I'm growing up, I still enjoy riding motorbikes, going surfing, <laughs> riding skateboards, riding horses, mountain bikes, but anything to do with the ocean, everything around here. It's just an abundance of play things. Clearly salt brewing is inspired by where we live and what we do. and. Uh, we try and grab ingredients as locally as we can get them. And that includes the fact that in our salt lager, we actually sneak a little bit of ocean and put it in there just for that little bit of mojo. While a lot of people wouldn't necessarily think of this region for uh, winemaking, uh, it actually was one of the original regions in Australia, uh, dating back over 150 years ago. We have the nice, beautiful, hot, sunny days in the summertime, but we have the cool breezes that come through in the evening. This just allows the vines themselves to produce beautiful, soft, elegant wines uh, from the fruit that they, they produce. A lot of times people come in and if they do take a bottle of wine back home as a souvenir, I don't think it lasts long that often. So it's a, it's a great sign of the winemaking here and something we take a bit of pride in. We're very lucky, like there's so many wineries and um, like cheese making and things like that all around the region. And this morning I went down the beach and got 20 litres of salt water, which actually goes in the beer. So that's probably one of our most awesome local ingredients because it's literally from the beach across the road. The Seltzer Evolve, we wanted to create something that was refreshing. It was talky, it reflected our lifestyle down here. It's a perfect thing to take down the beach with you or to a picnic with your mates. So it's the perfect drink for talky. We've got four flavours. The cucumber and mint, the blood orange, the lime and the watermelon. In terms of food beer, I think Mexican food, spicy food, it's going to go great with because it's just going to cut through that spice and refresh the palate. We're really lucky in Torquay because we have a good regular local base that lives here and then lots of people coming down from Melbourne that visit on weekends and pop in for a beer after a surf, which is a pretty good combo. The town in general is just a great place. It's got beautiful beaches, great venues and pubs and you're not far from the whole rest of the Great Ocean Road. So it's, yeah, it's a good spot. When people think of the Great Ocean Road, they think of the sea and the beach views, but there's so much more inland. Up here we have some of the most fertile soil and the best rainfall in Victoria, so it all leads to some of the best produce. We grow berries, we grow uh, cider apple trees for our cider. Over the season we have families coming up with the children or jam makers coming just to pick berries for their jams and really just see what a, a small working farm is like. It's almost idyllic. I think there is a bit of a misconception when you leave Melbourne, you also leave behind really good food. Great Ocean Road area has some fantastic local produce and some fantastic people doing some really good food down here. Once you come down here, you enjoy it and you can also enjoy the rest of the experience, which there's a lot to do. At Torquay Resort, we, we really have a philosophy in our kitchen of cooking local ingredient. We use a lot of local produce, fish like whiting that comes from just out the front here. We age our own local beef and we work with a farmer on a one-to-one -one basis. 
We also offer the local beers and wines from, say, Belbray or Blackman's Brewery to go with that, which is really good. When you look out to the restaurant, as we can see it from our kitchen, when you see someone has had a good night, it's written all over their face, and that gives us a fantastic feeling, and that spurs us on to do more things on the menu, especially locally driven.